everyone, it's is Tanya here with Memory Lane Keepsakes and welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for taking our time to join me for this awesome Hobby Lobby clearance haul that I found in the art department. If you guys have been following me on my Instagram page, you will know that I posted a TikTok video sharing that Hobby Lobby has marked down their art supplies and I did it as soon as I found out. Now I'm a little late sharing my haul with you guys and that's because it's such a large haul. So I hope you bear with me until the end so you can see everything that I picked up and found just in case you guys are looking for some of these items. Please keep in mind that every Hobby Lobby marked their art department at different times so your store may vary from my store so what you need to do is call in advance to find out if your store has started the markdown so that way you can get ahead of the eight ball and you can go and explore and get some of these awesome great clearance finds so let's go ahead and dig on in so the first thing I want to start off with is these tri-blend spectrum award markers this is one of the main reasons why I went as well as the paper I am um, I studied graphic design when I was in college and I know about my papers and that's one of the things that I speak highly of is you have to have the right paper to do certain type of mediums that you may be using. So with that being said, let's jump on in. So this right here is one of the items I wanted to share here. So the Spit in the World markers, they are a tri-blend and these were originally $4.99 and I got them for $1.24 and I was really fortunate to find as many as I found because I was able to bless other crafters as well to be able to get some of these pens because they were so hard to find in some locations but I managed to get a few and I was really excited and happy about that. This first one here is the dark red blend and that's this one here and you can see on the back these are the numbers for the markers um, so it kind of give you an um, idea of what the coloring system looks like. The next one that I located was this one right here which is this beautiful green color. This one here is called Jade Green. And this one is Hydrangea Blend. Then I also have this one which is called Blue Toy Coys. And then I have this one which is called True Blue. This one here that is called Gold Brown. And this one which is the Fair Skin. Now I was really excited about the fair skin one because I'm so into doing those beautiful faces when it comes to doing the skin tones. And I don't know if they had a yellow, but if they did, please comment down below and let me know if you saw a yellow. I have someone that is looking for a yellow. And I didn't see one, so I got one of every one they had, plus I was able again to bless a few of my crafty friends. Now I'm going to move quite quickly because I have a quite, I have a lot to share with you. So let's go ahead and jump on into that as well. So the next one I got was this Deco Art pen. This one here was only a dollar and twelve, and this was originally four forty nine. So this is the color Liquid Silver, um, which is an opaque paint marker. So I went ahead and picked that up. It has a fine point. So I got this one here, and I picked up some of these different cases that had some of the gel pens. Now they had some large ones that had a count of I want to say fifty. I didn't need that many. I went ahead and just picked up the ones that I knew I did not have in my collection already. These came in a case and you got 12 gel pens and this is the pastel by Kaiser color. These originally were $9.99 and I got them for $2.74. Beautiful colors. I absolutely love them. And what's really cool about it, it also has a little gem um, on the top of the pens which adds a little bling to your design. Really, really nice love that reminds me of the Nuvo drops because they have like a little jewel on top of theirs as well this one here is the metallic gel pens that comes with the set of 12 so all the cases I'm showing you now have a set of 12 on them and this one here same price 274 and this particular one right here um, has all these different colors in them as you can see so I'm really loving that let's see if I can Oh yes, that's nice. Now you can get a better look and see how these are lined up here. 
So that's what that case looks like. And that's the metallic ones. And I do the same for the pastel so you can see that a little bit better. I love this little case. This is perfect to take on any crops as well as if you're just going out of town and traveling, you just want to grab some pens. Really nice. Already positioned for you and ready to go. Love that. And it just snaps right back. So fancy. All right, the next one is this neon one here. This one, um, again, has some beautiful colors in it. Really nice. And the last pack that I picked up was this one here, which is the glitter gel pens. And that's what those look like. So you have all those pens and that price was not bad at all. I'm really loving that, um, that I got, that I was able to find those and I picked those up and I'm able to share. And then I also picked up these right here, which is the, um, dipping pens. I've always wanted one of these dip pens. This originally was $12.99 and this is great if you're trying to um, learn how to use, um, do calligraphy. So this one here also came with the silver ink as well as the pen tip that you're going to need. And so I'm really happy about that. So that is one of them there that came in silver. And then I also have one that came in gold. I only paid $3.24 a piece for these right here, which is really phenomenal. So I'm happy about that. And then I also found this right here, which is the Earth Tone Soft Pastels. I love working with my pastels. These are a high quality, oil free, long lasting pigment. What I love to do with these is shave them and use them to dress up some of my different faces that I do when I'm working with some of the different art pieces that I'm working on. This was only $1.12 and it was $4.49. That was not bad at all. Loving that. And then I also came across this right here, which is a precision sharpener I got for 74 cents. This is really awesome because it's a premium high carbon steel. It's ideal for artist color pencils. So you want to use a certain type of sharpener in order to get that nice, clean sharpen for your color pencils. Never use a electrical one because I find that it eats up your pencils and you won't, they won't last as long. This one here is the wood pencils with the eraser. This was only $1.24. They originally were $4.99. So that's a good amount. $12 is not bad at all. And so we're going to give these a try and see how they do. Um, so this one right here, it says that it's durable. And it's um, a graphic core for making the ideal choice for, let's see, for artists. Now you can use it for um, sketching and doing some shading and fine details for your artwork. So that's what you can use those for. Then I also grabbed this right here, which is the Fine Touch Premium Sketching Tools. This was originally $6.99 and I got it for $1.74. Now I'm glad I got this because my um, daughter, she loves using her color pencils as well. And it so happens where she's going to need this blending tool here. So since I have an extra one, this may be going to her since I already have one because she just received a stump from her art teacher. And I want my um, my daughters to definitely really get into it. And they love art. And this is another way to stretch what they already been doing anyway. So this is phenomenal. Moving right along, I also picked up some scissors. They had their own scheduled precision scissors. And this is a titanium coated blade. Um, this scissors right here is 8 inches. And this original was $9.99. And I got it for $2.49, guys. $2.49 is a steal for this. And then this one right here was $2.24. And this was originally $8.99. This is just a 3D blade scissors. And this, again, is 8 inches as well. So you can see the difference in those two. And I'm going to share a pair of those with my daughter. Because I think now she can go ahead and use the ones that are a little bit more sharp since she's getting older. And this right here is a heavy duty staple gun that I found for $4.99. Guys, this was originally $19.99. You cannot beat that. And then I also, they had the extra staples to go along with it for 74 cents and I'm so happy about that so I may be passing this on to my husband because I already have a personal staple gun in my um, craft space and he needs one for his toolbox so this is a great thing to get passed on to him so I picked that up 
And then I also found some command strips. So anybody who is um, redecorating their home or just moving to a new home, congratulations. And also if you wanna change things up a little bit, this right here was only $1.49 and this originally was $5.99. You get three of the command strips and that's what they look like. They like a little pegs. That's what they are. And then I found this one here that comes with the total six. And these are the ones that are the ones like the hooks. And these originally were $14.99 and I got them for $3.74 and it holds up to two pounds. So I'm gonna give these a try. My mother, she speaks highly of these command strips. I've been kind of on the fence with them, but I'm gonna try them out for that price. And then I also have this one here that originally was $11.99. I got it for $2.99. This one here comes with a set of six of them and it has three on the front but six of the commands for you to have extra for 2 dollars this was not bad for it to hold up to four pounds of your artwork so i'm happy about those so if you are looking for command strips check out your local hobby lobby for a great clearance deal in addition to that i did find some easels some little mini art easels and these are great when you're displaying your work for craft shows or if you want to just show it when you're on camera just sharing your process of how you do your videos or just anything so this is one of them that I got right here which is the natural wood these originally were all $2.49 I got them all for 62 cents so 62 cents was not bad at all so this is the natural one and I picked up two of the black ones I also found this one right here which is the iron on I got this um, this is a wearable art got it for $1.49 and I'm loving this coffee cup so adorable and that donut looks so yummy as well as the yummy yummy ice cream so I'm really happy to have found this iron on they had quite a bit they even had some poodles and I even saw the pizza and the burger but I didn't pick those up I just got this one because I need to start using them um, so I'm thinking about adding this to my um, a pair of jeans uh, for one of my daughters or I may put it on a jacket or I may even put it on a um, album you just never know but they can be used on pretty much anything that's um that's you can iron on so you can see right here they actually use it for a little purse which I have some of those little purses right there that I picked up from Hobby Lobby and uh, so that'd be really nice as well to add a little decor now I also got this item right here I thought it was so adorable this is one of the fashion tidbits and this original was $5.99 it's a B and I got it for $1.49 look how adorable that is just screaming too cute like I love that I also picked up this little pouch right here so cute and you know I love anything with the eyelashes on them this was only $1.49. I'm not sure what the original price was. I just know this was on there, but it holds quite a bit. So I just picked this up just to have, but it's it's got a good amount of space in there. So I'm loving that. No idea what the original price was on it, but I'm glad I found it. And it was only one there at the store. So really, really beautiful. I also found this item here which was a brayer this is a hard rubber ink brayer it was originally $8.99 I got it for $2.24 so I picked that up I also found these pouches right here this is a clear pencil pouch that was only 99 cents and it's a three you can go into a three ring binder and it was originally $3.99 so that's really awesome what I plan on doing with this is taking it and placing some designs on the front of this and also putting some of my embellishments and different things that I have left over when I die cut or just punch out inside of these little pouches here so I thought that would be great little storage for me so I picked up quite a few but I'm only showing you guys this one right here it's a decent size not too bad at all and so if you see those I recommend you grabbing them I also found a few of the sketchbooks so this one right here is one of the ones that I got um, I picked up two for myself and a few for my daughters um, so this sketchbook right here was originally $12.99 and I got it for $3.24 this has 160 pages in it and that's a good um, price $324 and I want to say this one has like a wood surface on the front I may alter that to add some designs that's why I picked it up because I want to play around with that some and then you can see how the spine looks here on the book as well this one right here was unique this is more of a denim one I like the way this one looks this was only $374 and originally was $14.99 
really nice loving that and then this sketchbook right here was originally $14.99 got it for $3.74 I thought this was a great deal as well and these are the ones that I picked up for my daughters I have two of these so this is one of them here and this will be for when they have the art for school because they recommend to have a sketchbook on hand so I said you know let me go ahead and pick it up early while they have those um, clearance deals going on I also picked up some paint for them because they're always getting into my paint so I want them to have their own now so this is the paint that I picked up for both of them this is the acrylic paint pots and it's 18 colors and it comes with the paintbrush it was originally $13.99 and I got it for $3.49 look how gorgeous these colors are I mean they are absolutely beautiful and it's a good amount of paint I mean 15 milliliters that's not bad and you can see how each one is in its own little Pot. so I love that how it's already been divided up for you and you can close it tightly when you're done using it so this is a great deal especially for your kids or if you just new and beginning um, to do some paint projects why not pick up one of these for that price it's a steal I am really 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 excited about the next thing I'm about to share with you this is one of the items right here this is the gel press this is the gel printing plate I was so excited about this now this item retails normally for $44.99 guys that's how much this normally is I got it for $13.99 yes this right here is a must-have love this you can do so many different types of projects having one of these gel press plates and this one right here is so enormous what I love about it is the fact you don't have to worry about cutting down your 12 by 12 paper anymore you can just place this on there and I just I love that and if you choose to cut it down you have more space to work with now which I absolutely love more to cover but you can also use more paint and come up with more creations because the size is such a great fit for whatever it is that you're trying to do so you can get more in the area of being the fact that it's larger so i love that so that is an absolute great price so that was one of the main things that i was happy about as well and then the next thing i was i didn't know they had these but i went ahead and got them because my daughters are always using my glass templates and they they know the tim holtz ones is off <laughs> they cannot it's off hands you, you don't touch this one this is mommy's but i let them use my we are memory keepers and then i picked up two extra ones i picked up one for travel and then another one that they can use here at the house this one right here was originally $29.99 this is called posh this is new way fine art product it's a tempered glass this one here the size of this one um, is 9 by 12 this was only $7.49 that's not bad at all so I got this one here that's one of them there and the other one I picked up is a really huge size this one here is 12 by 16 so 12 by 16 is not bad at all it was originally $39.99 and this one I got for $9.99 so you can see that there and I absolutely love the size of this so this glass is is really nice and sturdy I love that and I love the fact that you can add your medium to it and be able to create and just have fun so those are the two in comparison you can kind of see how the small one lays on top of the big one there to kind of get an idea okay next up I want to share with you is this item here so I picked this one up because she loves llamas this is a sleep mask that I found it was originally $4.99 and I got it for $1.24 so this is so stinking adorable and she loves her sleep mask and I know she don't have one like this so mommy got it for her so her birthday is on Monday so a happy birthday to my Jasmine she's gonna be the big 12 so I'm so excited for my baby girl and I also found this this is something that she has been looking for for over a year so this item right here I'm really 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 excited about it this was $19.99 guys and I got it for $4.99 this is a Kabuto this is something she's been asking me for for a long time that price you cannot beat that now let me show you what's inside now I've added some other things in here and I'm speaking low in case she's upstairs so she doesn't hear me but look you open it up this way I'm gonna bring the camera down just a little bit here you open it up that way it flips out open this up look at that yes so it lays down right 
and then you open this up and it has a mirror okay inside I have enclosed some goodies for her so this is one of them here got her this right here because she loves llamas and I also got this right here and then I found this right here from Joann's so it's a llama but it has the, like the sticker and it moves up and down really really pretty and then also I found her this from Hobby Lobby so she has a book and I got this really really nice so yes I have completed her llama journey she's gonna be really really excited to receive all of this wonderful goodness so I'm gonna stick this on in there with it and I'm gonna have to hide it because she doesn't know I, I'm doing this video so hopefully she doesn't see it before Monday it's our little secret so we're gonna wish Jasmine a happy birthday so do you guys have any plans for Easter because I know Easter is tomorrow and I'm excited to be able to share these wonderful items with you guys today and so the next thing that I have right here is this item right here which are these magnetic canvas flowers this right here was only a dollar ninety nine but originally was five ninety nine you get a total of three that's not bad at all so I have that and I also found this smaller one right here which was only a dollar twenty four and originally was four ninety nine and you get a total of four apples and the magnetic part is on here on the back which is really really cool so I'm going to be back to share more things with you guys because I don't want this video to be too too long so come back if you want to see my paper as well as some of the other goodies I pulled out because I found a lot of awesome books too that I know you guys will like this is Tanya here with Memory Lane Keepsakes thank you so much for watching part one I'll be back with part two I may not share it on the same day but definitely stay tuned to catch that so you don't miss it if you have not already subscribed, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and in the comments down below, feel free to leave what you love the most. And also don't forget to wish Jasmine a happy birthday. I want to thank you guys for your continued support. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.